What just happened? Gen Con. That's the games convention. Now this is that TSR Games. That's the people that created Dungeons and Dragons back in the 70s. Gary Gygax announces that TSR Games is permanently banned from attendance. Wow. Did it happen? What? I am still fuzzy on what the hell TSR did. Refusal to virtual signal and using an old school name. And we go to the Twitter feed of this neon guy who is kind of reporting. We go, Neon finds the quote from the Twitter feed and he said, Gen Con. This is uh, the Gen Con convention. We would deny them if they applied. Yes, so it appears that TSR Games is in fact banned. What did TSR Games do? Well, Gary Gygax, the creator of D&D, his son, Sir er Ernie Gygax Jr. Well, um, who's the, the new owners of uh, Dungeons & Dragons? Wizards of the Coast put out a warning about pre-current edition modifiers. Apparently, uh, races prior to the current version had uh, certain races had certain bonuses or debuffs and apparently old races had gender gender well uh, Gygax's son Ernie he's still working at TSR so um, Gygax Jr. gets uh, Twitter aggro and pretty much Ernie ended up defending his father and what happened? Well, Gary Gygax, back in the 60s or 70s, he had the idea that um, men actually liked playing uh, Dungeons & Dragons more than women. Apparently they receive uh, you know, more enjoyment from fighting these battles. Well, it's an idea. Well, uh, biological determinist, well, that means that men are going to like playing the game more than women. Hmm. Well... Who knows? They probably do. And of course, uh, Orcs and Dro, they had gender. Anything anything prior to the current D&D, the per current Dungeons of Dragons owned by Wizards of the Coast, you know, they're not going to, they don't allow actual gender being, I don't know, you know what I mean. I think. Anyway. And uh, this is the new hotness. Uh, races don't get uh, class bonuses. What happened in Wizards of the Coast 5th editions? Well, it looks like they took the bad races out of Dungeons and Dragons. According to Walker, D&D is a game about killing people. When you have evil races, you have a reason to go around kicking in the door and killing people. When you say there's no more evil races, that's when you change your play. If you have a different perspective. There is this rule structure for this, and that is for the shitty white this shitty guy, a power fantasy that is directly connected to the stereotypes that are a problem. These uh, power structures, they exist so... For the for this white guy, he thinks he's a, not a jock and look at every race and gender group in their high school. This white guy puts him into a character and say, I rule this world! And he goes, fights his battles and defeats all the bad and evil races. Should we allow this is what he's saying? Let's end a video with a quote from Iron Wolf 56 10 months ago. Even 3rd edition was starting to show its own. Wizards of the Coast was cancer from day one. Don't forget they had an actual policy that male only prestige classes were sexist but female ones which were unbalanced and overpowered were A-OK. -okay. Well, actually, that's not entirely true, Iron Wolf 56 says. 
they did have exactly one male only prestige class in uh, Oriental Advi Adventures 3rd Edition. It literally required your character to become an Enoch. Uh, 